Knowledge comes from the northeast corner of the continent of Africa. It's called the Nile Valley. Did, was there another question? Did I answer? Uh, not, yeah, that was basically it. I just wanted now, to understand Asiatic. Asiatic, right, thank you. The reason why the Elijah Muhammad used the word Asiatic black man, and this is what we all keep forgetting. I told you in my lecture a little while ago, the mind cannot teach what it does not know. Who taught Elijah Muhammad? No, not Noble Drew Ali. Fard Muhammad. Fard Muhammad was an Arab. Mm. Okay, Fard Muhammad is a descendant of Asia. Ooh. So Fard Muhammad is going to teach his protege what's in his head. Mm. So his protege took with this Asian taught him. Elijah took what an Asian taught him and applied it into his thesis. There is no such thing as Af there's nothing in Africa called Asia. <laughs> Listen. Am I making sense, people? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the term Africa is not even this. Now you get into that English thing I just talked about. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? I did, were you here earlier? Okay, when I said about English, follow what I'm saying. Now, before you go, slow down. Let, let me small, small, take charge. Man. Tell them to wait until they get ask his question. Go ahead, okay. man. You ain't taking charge. And what language do you want me to do it in? In any language that you choose. What language do you understand? What? Come on, don't do that, man. What language do you understand? No, I got it, I got it, I got it. What now, language do you understand? For one minute, we want you to do it properly. Come up here and stand up and ask the question. Don't sit back there. Come up here and ask the question. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Let me do this because you know, I don't need no help on it, brother. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay. But do you understand why I said Asiatic? Yes, sir. So Elijah Muhammad taught Asiatic black man. There's no such thing. Right. Okay. Black is African. Right. Period. Okay. Now, you want to come up here and ask the question, brother? Okay. All right. Because see, the whole he, I think he was saying something about Africa. The word Africa, period, is not African. Right. That's what he was saying. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Okay. Well, let me help him out, since that's what he was saying. <laughs> if I talk to people outside and up and down the street, and I say, I'll people line. Are they going to know what I'm talking about? Nope. I'm talking to this brother. Are they going to know what I'm talking about? No, they're not, brother. If I say a people line, most folks will say, where? <laughs> okay, so if we can't communicate to people within the parameters of their awareness, then we ain't communicating. So when I say Africa, don't get bent out of shape about that. That's English. Thank you. And we all in this room speak English, and when I say Africa, I bet you know what part of the globe I'm talking about. That's the whole purpose of saying Africa. The truth of the matter is, Africa was named after a white man, Scipio Africanus. But that ain't important. So we can't allow our little insignificant distractions to get us off center as a people. Well, that ain't the real name of it. Come on. You see what I'm saying, people? That's what Keith is about. You know, what do you want me to call it? Oxy Blaine, you want to, call, want to call it Ethiopia? You know? What, what do you want to call it? Want to call it the land of the blacks? What do you want to call it? Whatever we call it, we're going to be saying English, and that ain't what they call it. Because they didn't speak English. Are we clear? Cool. Next question. Yes, sir. I just want to address this. Um, there's a word in the con. It's called Afrifa. And it means Africa. It's a, it's a free fuck. That's you can go is. and check the Akan That's terminology. It, it says a free fuck. Okay. And it means Africa. Okay. Okay. All right, brother. Thank you. have Africa for 22 years. That's what it means. Okay. What I wanted to ask you was, and we were talking about a little bit over there. Mm -hmm. Keep the mic. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. You know, being a minister, that Christianity, by and large, here in Europe, is kind of dying out. It's here amongst other people, it's dying out. 
but in Africa and South America is gaining momentum. Yes. Where do you see this going? I mean, I mean, you go to Nigeria, Ghana, they're carrying on these big white statues of white Jesus and everything. Mm -hmm. And where do you see this heading in terms of this cultural, you know, decomposition of your own culture and picking up this Jesus and where it's going to save you and everything else? Okay. I do believe, brother, that the reason why the demise of Christianity, and I did a lecture on that, in fact, called the demise of Christianity, I do believe that the reason why it is taking place at such a rapid uh, speed here in this, on this continent, on this landmass here in the West, is because of the allowance of so many other cultural expressions on this landmass here. Okay, I do believe that Christianity, as you say, is doing very well and good as far as the spread of it in Western and Southern Africa because uh, they are not allowed in Western and Southern Africa uh, to have the freedom of expression from other entities as is allowed here. Uh, it's a, the control mechanism is much tighter over there by the Europeans. I, I do believe also that Christianity has the footing that it has in West and South Africa because it has been there much longer than it has been here in the West. Uh, where do I see it going? Um, of course, here it's on the demise. Uh, one of the reasons why it's on the demise with black people here in America, Kaka. <laughs> <laughs> is because a lot of young people, man, who grew up in the black church, who were, been, who were in Christianized, you know, uh, are going to school now. Colleges and, and universities that have black studies programs. And a lot of these young adults are coming back home with information that no longer fits what they were taught by their preacher growing up. Um, where is it on its way to in Africa? I believe that it's on its way to uh, continue the path that it is because unless, I should say it this way, unless there is an overturn of European power in West and South Africa, it's just going to continue to proliferate as it is because that's their control mechanism. See what I'm saying? Uh, like you said, man, you go to Ghana, one of the most offensive things, I don't understand it, but I, I, I should say I don't understand it. It's deep, man, how you can go to Ghana and see all these black people. I mean, you know, who is aware of who they are as far as their culture is concerned. You know, um, and, I, and when I say, I mean white, I mean a picture of white Jesuses, man. Pictures of white Jesuses, if you multiply this screen here, like maybe another two times up and one time is wide and just see a giant blue-eyed blonde haired dude you know and yet all these black people are parading around with all these these massive images that's some serious psychosis man mm -hmm. and the site and the social engineers this the, the psychologists who created all this understand that don't take my word for what I'm about to say, but write it down. If you can't write it down, just remember it. Everybody say niggerology. Niggerology. Y'all ain't gonna forget that, are you? Okay. Don't take my word for it. Go to Google and type in niggerologists. And you'll see that niggerologists, just like I am a psychologist, okay, a couple of decades ago, they had niggerologists. Mm. which were psychologists whose entire assignment was to study the behavior and psychosis of Negroes. Okay, mm. wow. go Google it. You'll see it come up for yourself. That's what they were called, niggerologists. PhDs whose assignment was to control the behavior of black people. Okay, come to the mic. I need you. So we have some folks here. Okay. Uh, my name is Sipiwe, and I want to thank you for a very thought-provoking lecture. You're very welcome. Um, I wanted to plant a seed, and maybe you can comment on this. And this is for my family and it's everyone that's gathered here. Um, in some of my research and some of in my studies, um, 
our great scholars, they have written that um, the Egypt or Kemet was a colony of Ethiopia. 